hear us. Um, guys, I want to add one thing to you. you before you go to Mayor Tory about yeah. um, about Massey Hall. Uh, the city of Toronto proclaiming today Gordon Lightfoot Day. Yeah. Very fitting, Mayor Tory. Thank you yeah. for that. Exactly. Yeah. Very important. Hi, Mayor Nobody's Tory. played more there, I don't think. I think he's played there 165 times. How are you both doing this morning? We're good. You know what? We're doing great. Nice try, by the good. way, losing. Did, your, I, did I hear a, a report <laughs> earlier on that Sid is going to appear in a Speedo on the program? I heard No, that. you know what? Your, 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 your AirPods <laughs> clearly weren't working as well at that we should, moment. We should definitely rewrite the no, program. No, that's not the they, case. How do they rate a scary Talk, movie? A no. scary movie. Christmas is, list, is it R or X? Or, or, or you know what? I, I sense a bit, Mayor Tory. Mayor Tory and myself at, at Great Wolf Lodge just <laughs> taken in the water. I think I, I think yeah. that's a segment that would sell. Mm. That's a segment that would sell. Uh, like I tell you, speaking for myself, if I was to get in there, the uh, the water would overflow the uh, the, um, the, the, the no. pool. I'm the one. Uh, you're, you're still in shape. I, I'm the one that I'm actually going to ask you to this question. Have either of you ever enjoyed a water slide in your life, like one of those water slides at those oh. parks? I love Great Wolf. You, you, wa won't, you won't remember this, Dina, but but one year when I was opening the pools in the spring for yeah. the for all the kids, they were all in there, and they said to me, "Would I jump in with them?" And I jumped in with my suit on, um, and and swam with them for a bit, and then they asked Good me if I go down the slide with my suit on, and I did. It was great fun. And I, that's Good so that's the you. most recent time, probably two or three years ago, that I came down a water slide. It's fun. I mean, it's called a swimsuit. Why not wear an actual suit? You might start a trend Good with that. Good point. That's Never not bad. That. Yeah. Guys, that, that video exists yeah. somewhere. We got to pull that. We got to pull No, it's, it's, oh yes, it exists. We got to get that. Too video. Good. That's too good. Okay. That's too good. Um, all right, Mayor Tory. Let's again. Just one last thing. I mean, Gordon Lightfoot tonight. It is going to be mad. I'm I. I'm jealous. Yeah. I'm not going to be there tonight. That is going to be an incredible scene. Incredible. The, yeah. This the, here is. I mean, one of the Canadian musical icons. I mean, and he. You know, before we got into the great dividends that came from the Canadian content rules and all the fantastic world recognized musicians, Gordon Lightfoot was there as a kind of North American icon. Um, he has played Massey Hall 165 times. He's over 80 years old, uh, and it's one of the reasons why I just thought it was appropriate we should declare today Gordon Lightfoot Day, both because of um, the opening of Massey Hall and his role in the opening concert, but also just because he's just been there for us for decades and. And, and not just for us, but for people right across the world who know his writing and they know his music. So uh, congratulations, Gordon Lightfoot. Mayor Tory, serious, uh, uh, fantastic words, and we echo all of it. Serious question as the mayor of one of the biggest cities in the world. When you want to declare a day for something or somebody, does it have to go to committee? Or can you wake up in the morning, have some Cheerios and say, you know what, I'm going to make a day. Like, how does it work for Mayor Tory? Pretty much. That, Pretty much. The, the and I know why you're asking, Ooh. Sid. And I would say that, you know, you're on the pathway to getting there, but we're not quite there yet for you. So oh. I know that's why you're asking. It's one of those like questions, Santa. you know, I have a friend, I, I have a friend who is asking and so forth. But no, it's a decision that I make, but I try to make it carefully, obviously, of because course. the reputation of the city is involved. Yeah. But no, it's basically my decision and our, <clears throat> pardon me, our protocol office uh, helps with that because they help with some of the documentation of the proclamation and so on. And so, uh, but Sid, there's hope. Yeah, well, Mayor Tory, I mean, barely. listen, your name's Tory that has Toronto in the first letters of your last name. He's six zero. This is known as the six. It's only fitting. Okay. Maybe instead of a key to the city, you can get him like a sour key to the city. <laughs> and then he could nosh on it a little bit later. I'll take that under active advisement. I think that might be a bit generous at this moment in time, oh. but we'll but, think about it. But Mayor Tory, I don't need the whole day. Just give me brunch or something. Just like brunch. Oh, just, okay. just proclaim yes, brunch. Right. Take an hour. <laughs> 60 minutes. Half a coffee. Half a coffee oh as well. My oh, by the way, but, very quickly before we let you go, Mayor Tory, um, great visual with yourself and uh, the legendary Pokeroo from oh, Polka Dot Door at the Metro Toronto Convention Center this week. Uh, you toured one of the five city-run clinics. Again, vaccinations for kids 5 to 11. It's, it's exciting. It's, the numbers are, are they're higher than I expected. They, so this is, we're, on, we're on a good start here. Have you ever seen Devo Brown or Pokeroo in the same room at the same time? <laughs> I, no, I have not, and that raises certain questions that I think you're alluding to. And uh, uh, the only thing I know is that Devo Brown does talk, whereas Pokeru only says Pokeru. Only one word is the only word one word Pokeru speaks. Yeah. But uh, we should look into that further because uh, the guy seemed about the right height and, and the right build, and so we should look into that. Hey, right. let's look into this. Look what we just got. Our crack research team found you in there, your there suit. It is, yeah, look at that. In the water, it happened. There's the photo. <laughs> Deal with no, it, absolutely. everybody. I'm not, I don't make this stuff up. You took no, the no, it was fun, off. and the water was, it was great. The kids loved it, and I loved Impressive. it. it did you have fun. a random we'll suit ready, Mayor Tory? Like, did you have to, like, a did you ruin the suit? <laughs> did you have, like, a secondary suit? Yeah. yeah. It, no, but it doesn't do wonders for your clothes. Let's put it that way. So if uh, I do it again, I'll have to make sure I try to get out that old suit because it might have been wrecked anyway. Mayor Tory, uh, here's a pro tip. Do not go running in the fountains at Young Dundas Square. I did that, and I had a pink eye for about three days. I can't, I still well, can't I, get that stench out of the jeans. Gina, 
Yeah. You know, if I was an investigative journalist, there would be many questions I'd have to ask about that entire venture, but I won't Let's do not. that. We don't have the five hours needed, Mayor Tori. There's not enough time in the show today. We don't. Exactly. We don't. Exactly. Uh, thanks, Mayor Tori, great Tori. to see you. Enjoy the show. You time. That's going to be incredible. Day. Happy Gordon Lightfoot Day. Yes.